hello 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 my friends how are we doing today welcome 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 happy friday lovely to have y'all out here good to have you my friends oh it is a beautiful day hopefully you're having a good friday as well and uh it's great to see you all welcome 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 sorry stream was being weird sorry the intro ran so long that i couldn't get chat to populate on my side i was like i know people are out there talking i can see the i can see this chat scrolling but my actual chat window on my monitor was not so i had to fix that otherwise how would i be able to talk to y'all ah been awful been awful but you know it's all good it's all good y'all would just have to listen to me ramble about things randomly for the entirety of stream would this be a normal stream come on now now we gotta have some conversation ah lovely to see y'all out here emmy thank you so much for the 18 months by the way give the puppies treats and pets from all of us oh they're got they're getting a lot of loves don't you worry uh binky thank you so much for the four months i appreciate that welcome 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 everybody yeah today we're gonna do some more terraforming because i am obsessed and i've been having a lot of fun working on it and it's really cool like Are seeing the project too? starting to visualize in the different ways that it goes but yeah it's it's all good ruby dude thank you so much for the nine months whip stream plus stardew valley perfect friday evening dude i got to spring year two day four last night oof oof it's it's good it's it's i'm loving it i'm i'm having way too much fun i'm i'm like diving hard into the stardew valley vibe <laughs> um but yeah it's been fun what are the graphics on your shirt this is one of the mcc shirts nice to meet you that they uh sent out as a thank you for everybody who participates in it uh so yeah I, it's it's a good one it's a good stream shirt it's good it's a good stream shirt blooded eyes thank you so much for the six months new tree happy friday and don't forget to like the stream everybody yes 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 if you have not at all yet i do appreciate it. ocd how you doing chad thank you so much for the 19 months my dude hope you're doing well hope you're able to enjoy the lovely weather here in seattle today thank you so much for the support my dude hope everything's going well uh how are you i love your videos keep up the hard work. that's a lot of capital letters that's a lot of cap hi hi hercules hi that's a lot of capital letters but it's cool i'm good i'm i'm good today i'm good i like a i like <laughs> weirdly stressed out last night playing <laughs> i was raiding world of warcraft got like weirdly stressed out and frustrated over something and i was so I, I was like a little i went to bed like stressed and i was like i can't go to bed i need <laughs> like, i'm gonna just chill and have a zen like three days of stardew valley <laughs> and then and then go to bed but I, I woke up a lot better off today but yeah it's all it's all good got a little tilted playing video games but you know we're good we're vibing we're on to friday now can't can't be upset about that they were chilling it's all good uh hey chat and streamer can't stay along as i need to sleep but we'll watch the vod and read chat then hey jay thanks so much i appreciate it thank you for stopping by you have a good one all right i got the noodles ready popcorn for dessert and some cocoa oh my gosh you are you came in prepared ready to go we're all good we're all good Using this as white noise for midterm studying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I, I very much am the type of person who like if I can't focus unless there's background noise. <laughs> I, I like I can't focus unless there's background noise too. So I always have something going off. Um, but yeah, Armor Dash. Don't try and put uh, drama into things where there's not drama. I'm super excited for Joel. I know I know Joel's been trying to join that crew for many many years and he's, he makes some amazing content so it's cool that he's he's over there that's awesome for him uh are you picks brother because you guys look like brothers lol i have never heard anybody say picks and i look similar at all <laughs> is it because we're both people with beards is that is that what it is we both have beards <laughs> Uh, that's the only relatable element I can think of. Uh, do you watch uh, F1? Uh, I watch it. I'm really into the Netflix documentary on F1. I'm not so much into the actually watching the races because they're at weird hours usually on the West Coast of the US. It's either waking up really early or staying up really late. So I tend to not watch them too much. Uh, but I definitely, I, lo I love the drama behind the Netflix documentary and seeing more about how the team structure. I don't really, like, I... 
I don't care too much about professional sports, any professional sport, about like how the athletes are performing or those types of things. I think the really cool part about sports and everything is like the inner workings of how the team functions and how they get that and how they build the successful platforms for the star athletes to remain star athletes and for them to be able to just keep destroying in their sport. Like obviously they have the skill and everything, but you can't deny that there is an entire team working behind them to get them there. And I, I get a lot more interest out of seeing how that works and those types of things. So I tend to really not watch too many sporting events live. I'm just not super interested by them. Quipstream is helping me get through waiting for my hubby's flight to land. It's been a long two weeks. Oh, hey, at least at least they're coming home, Liz. At least they're, you got a good weekend to hang out together. So much on the drama to dri of Drive to Survive is fake. Oh, yeah, no, it's so fake. <laughs> I love uh, the main reporter. I bl I always blank on his name, but there is... Uh, I, I love like him. He's done like a few extra interviews outside of it of people asking about his, his experience on Drive to Survive. And he's just like, yeah, like they just like... He's like, yeah, uh, I didn't realize I was going to be the one interviewing. So all those like dramatic pauses that I'm doing, he's like, I thought I was going to be asking questions, not the one answering questions. So he's like, I actually had to pause to think about my answer. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty funny. You. But it is what it is. Uh, Esme, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. My friends, if you're ever on the YouTube side, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a bunch. We got... Oh, YouTube's been a little weird this week, so I very much do appreciate all the support. We only got 400 people over on YouTube right now, so everybody who can support, I very much do appreciate it. I Something's up with streams, or are people just, like, super busy in life right now? Because it seems like this week, stream viewership has just been, like, half of what it normally is. I don't know if there's something else going on or whatnot, hey, but... Is what it is. Catch the stream. Hope you're having a good day. I've got my Pyrenees puppy in my lap, all right. Oh. So this is gonna be a good afternoon. Oh. Less than They're only gonna be able to sit in your lap for another three, few less weeks. Than three less than three less than three. <laughs> Brenda, thank you so much for the dono. Adorable, absolutely adorable. I'm sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the puppy time. Uh, why no video yesterday? Uh, I don't have video ready to post, so no video to post. <laughs> That's, that's the reason. Uh, I wanted to go get a few more boxes of stone to get started. Uh, we've got a bunch of dirt over here. We've still got enough moss. Like we got, we got a box and two thirds of moss left to go. So that's fine. Um, let's go. I put my empty boxes down here to just uh, take them out. So I didn't double count anything. So let's just pick up two of these. And we can go get two more shulkers of stone and come on back and start working on the project. What brother, give me the world download, please. Gamer Rush, brother, give me five dollars and you can get the world download. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or you can hang out on the stream and get a gift member. I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> she's 60. She's already 65 pounds. So ooh, big puppy forever puppy. We love forever puppies. Good time to be to jump on a call. No worries. Thank you for hanging, Liz. The world's getting big in here, friends. It's It's been getting big. Where's the map build? This world is so huge. My brain huge. We can go look at the map in a moment. Let me get, let me get some, let me get some stern. We just pick up, come on down here. Just do a little plop and a plop. And pick up some stern. Will it fill it? I don't think it will. Nope. Ah! My stone! My stone supplies! I'm only down to a wall of double chests. Ah! What are we gonna do? Puppy is not about age, it's about being beloved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All dogs are good dogs. It's true. Why is Laura not allowed an SOS? Uh, I have made a few posts about that already. You can go check them out. I'm not going to dive into that again. One of my favorite parts of your village, love the quarry. I really love the quarry. That was such a fun build to do back in the day. 
Uh, yeah, so this is the map room castle. Big giga tree over there. If you do have the world download, you're looking for it. Starter house there. Just continue down the pathway. You'll see the big bridge. We can go out here. If I can walk through a door. But yeah, you'll see this big bridge here. This is this is the episode three castle. Dwarven trading village is that little point down there for people who want reference. You can go in there and jump in. But yeah, starter base where you if you get the world download, you should spawn in right next to that tower and you just follow the dirt path down this way if you want to get to the map room. Any idea on how I can get my parents to get me a puppy? Um, show that you can fully manage and take care of a puppy yourself. And that you will actually take the responsibility for taking care of the puppy, not just for the two weeks of having the puppy. It's probably most of it. Taking care of a dog is a big, big life responsibility that if you get a dog, you are committing. You should be committing to minimum like 14 years, 15 years of taking care of the pet. So if you want to get a puppy and you want to get a dog, you, you got to like convince your parents that you are going to be committed for the entire time to taking care of a dog because your parents are probably like, I don't want to get one because I don't want to have extra responsibility because your parents are probably already busy as is. So that make you got to be able to show that you can actually take care of the dog. Yeah, this is a uh, middle of the map room, all that stuff. And then over here where I did realize that we need to actually take this down, but I'll fix that next time we do the map. Um, <clears throat> Bro, Gamer Rush, I already, I, Gamer Rush, I already told you how you can get the world download. You di you didn't listen to me. Uh, why 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 are you allowed to ignore me, but I'm not allowed to ignore you? That that doesn't seem fair. I'm just saying. <laughs> the, it, the conversation is working two ways. It's not you shouting at me and me giving you thing. Conver the, there's this trade deal. It's the the terms are not. E I've given the terms. You don't accept them. That's on you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is world map right here. Uh, we have spawn right in there. We are actually standing back in this down in the, the hall. The hall is getting big. Uh, world The world spawn is actually right over here. And then we have starter house right up on the hill here. The quarry, lower industrial district of the town, kind of moving up into here. This is where that color storage room is. So colorful on the map. And then we get into all, like the upper town, upper city, uptown. Uh, we got all of our windmills. We got our forest, the lake town. We got field town. We got spawn town. We got sniffer town. We got mud brick castle town. We got mushroom town. We got custom mountain town. We got flower village town, birch forest town, and pillager castle town. And yeah, that, that's everything that we got here on the map. And where we're working right now is like up in that direction. We probably need to take those boxes back with us. Quarry does look pretty cool on the... I really like how the map looks. I think it's fun. I think... It... I'm so happy I took the time to, like, create all these different ones and have actually saved them from the past to now. I close that. I did. Perfect. Oh, I think we can just sleep. Friendly reminder to update the hardcore graves. <gasps> You're right! We do need to do that. Oh, and I'm sorry. You did do a die. Does anybody know the date? Did anybody have the date when uh, Owen died? We'll just we'll just throw him here on the list of everybody else. So what do we need? We need a spruce sign. We need red dye and glowing sack. Coarse dirt. Okay, that's easy. Has this world been active for multiple years? Yeah, I started it when 1.18 released. Of course, I have every other type of... You know, he can have a special slap. And then he can... Uh, just because I didn't read your message doesn't give you access or right to spam it six times. There's a lot of people in here. Maybe a grave for Waxrod. I actually don't know him too well. Um, I try to leave graves for my friends and people that I know and no hate or ill will or anything towards other creators. It's just, there's not like, there are so many people that play hardcore Minecraft nowadays that if I were to make a grave for every single 
streamer or content creator that loses the hardcore world, there would it did be flooded everywhere. It would be kind of cool. Don't get me wrong, but ain't nobody got time for that. That's the truth. Okay, we need to go get a spruce sign. I was I was hoping there'd be some rummage. Any junk? A junk. Now we don't have to go get to die. We gotta die. Oh, I need two coarse dirt. More junk, please. Junk? No junk. Junk? No, no. Ah, it's regular dirt. Okay, we got we got two in the sh the ender chest. Fine, fine. I'll open up the ender chest. Oh, spruce sign. May have missed the notification for the stream because I was cleaning my shulker monsters. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you gotta do a little spring cleaning. That's five. Episode 60 map is looking perfect. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It's fun. It's I I really love where this world's at right now. Do you play Fallout? Uh, I've played Fallout 3, 4, and New Vegas. Every single time a Fallout game releases, I'm like, I'm going to love this. This is so cool. And then I get like 10 hours into the game, and I'm like, I don't like Fallout. <laughs> oh, we never gave Coarse Dirt to Looney. Sorry, Looney. Looney can have Coarse Dirt. Now I need more dirt. Pleased to meet you. Did anybody say the date when Owen died? Did anybody anybody post that in here? I if it went through, I missed it in chat. Does anybody anybody have that? I mean, I could probably go find it in Discord because Scott definitely shared it as soon as he died. So I just have to go look at that. It's. Owen's ju juice, right? Or is there no E? Is it? How do you? How do you? Why am I blanking on how to spell his name? I was literally talking with him for a few hours yesterday. You think I'd be able to know how to spell? There is a G and an E. Okay. Please stop asking for the world download. Pleased to meet you. You, you all know how to get the world download. Stop trying to cheat the system. You all know exactly how to get it. And if you don't like the way to get it, that's not my fault. All right, I'm look I'm scrolling. I'm looking for when the date that he died. I know it's I know it's recentish. Four nine. Oh my. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> he died exactly two years after Looney lost his world. Yeah, tier one members and up can get access to the world download. That is that is how to get access to it. That is that's really funny. I'm I'm sharing that in the Discord. That I, I I have to post this and just see. There we go. <laughs> I just said, oh, and if it helps at all, you now have a grave in my hardcore world. And fun fact, you died exactly two years after Looney died in his hardcore world. Lol. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know there was a download. 
OMG, I'm checking this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, a I release a download every 10 episodes, and episode 60 was the last video that came out. So there's a new download where everything except uh, episode 61, which is uh, those things, um, and then the new terrain work that we've been doing on stream is not in it, but everything else is in there. Okay, we got it. We got 600 people over on YouTube and only 400. Somebody just unliked. Who was it? Who was it? Who just came in here? I saw that counter go down by one. Who just came in here, clicked the like button, and then, then clicked it again to take that like away? I'm watching you. Thank you. Thank you. I saw that. Thank you. It was added back. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Or who's, who's coming through and evening that out. How could you do that? <laughs> I was only reading it. It just goes down by one. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> okay. Back over. Back over at the spot. The spot. How's the lighter? Lighter's good. Okay, so a few things have changed since we were in here last. I've made a few decisions. We actually only probably need two of those at once. But one of the big decisions was I want... I want the top of this to be covered in grass. I know we did all the work yesterday to, to make it not grass. But I decided to bring grass in. So we're just going to let that kind of grow in the background and do its own thing. Um, and I did put this moss line here so it can't grow out. It'll be stuck within this section in itself. And then I, I just think it will be a little bit cooler to have some of our hills covered in green grass. Instead of it just all being above of elevation, you just suddenly only have dirt. Um, so I, I thought the grass up here could look nice, but one sec, I got to respond to a, a discord message and then we'll get in. Sorry, one second. Pleased to meet you. Okie dokie. We're good to go. Uh, I've the Beatrice, thank you so much for the eight months. What's up, people? Don't forget to like the stream. Hi, 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 hi. How you doing? Sorry, I missed out a little bit. Rumble Bumble, thank you so much for the nine months, my dude. Hope you're well. Been pretty busy lately. So first stream I managed to catch for a while. Can't wait to have the time to watch all the replays. Awesome work. Don't forget to like the stream. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your least favorite part of Minecraft? That's a good question. Chopping mangrove trees. <laughs> no, no, chopping nether trees. I would rather chop a mangrove tree any day than chop down a warp forest tree or a crimson, like a warp fungi or a crimson fungi. No, not for me, fam. Not for me, fam. Ain't about that life. What's your world seed? The world seed that I used to create this was back in 1.18, and it's not the same seed anymore. So I actually do not have an answer for you because it is so archaic that it does not generate the same. So unless you were to go back to 1.18 and generate this world then, you will you won't be able to get the same world. Which on a thing, I think is kind of special because this means it's just mine. But the seed that I entered originally was literally just typing in the text building with flip as an ode back to my old long-term world saying that this one's going to go for at least six years for sure.
Blocky, thank you so much for the 21 months. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Don't forget to like the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today, my friend. Okay, so um, I like this here. I want to bring ourselves up a little bit more, and then we'll add in another rock, and then we'll start filling things in more. I think I would like to spend a little bit of time after we get this in. We're going to take out a lot more of the dirt, hopefully pick it all back up, and then bring in nice some more of our moss and kind of add some like strips of green, trying to almost simulate where erosion channels would be. Nice and using you. that as a way to show just a little bit more variation. And so where an erosion channel might fall, there might be more water coming through there, which then would allow it to re like retain a little bit more of the greenery. So that's that's my current thought. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking this one, we're gonna kind of stretch it back here. We'll see. Regs, thank you so much for the gift sub. I appreciate that. I eat sticks and stones. Thank you so much for the two months. I had to reread that one. I was like, I eat stick sand stones. No, no, I eat sticks and stones. Okay, got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Noted. Noted. They enjoy sticks and stones. But you also eat sand. That is... Or do you eat sandstone? I, so, I have so many questions. I have so, so many questions. Do you see your Minecraft avatar as like a god or something of the world you built? No, I'm just a little farmer. I'm j I'm just a little farmer boy, just a little farmer flip over here. I just I just plant my fields and uh, civilization is created around it. Not any like god complex or anything like that. No, it's just I just like making fields and somehow things go. I mean, if somebody has to have that title, I mean, I guess I could, maybe, if they really want me to, maybe. I'm just a little guy, yeah, a little guy. Do you support the woke Minecraft lifestyle? I don't know what that is, so I'm scared to say yes. So I'm just gonna say I don't know what that is and not say yes or no. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I think if anybody comes in here and says, do you support this or something? Usually my answer is to just say, I, we're not talking about that on stream, but yeah. <laughs> Redfire Bandit, thank you so much for the 10 months. Professor canceled class so I can finally catch a stream again. Go did professor. Canceling class on a Friday. Oh, the best. Okay, this is our farthest line coming back this way, I like. And then let's just do a little dip, a little dive, and then a little a little duck in to make sure we land on the platform. I mean, it's just the same way that Zeus always liked to go and live among the people, right? It's just want to get that experience of I'm just over here hanging as a farmer. But I uh, know I'm just a regular farmer. It's all good though. It's you know, it's the way it goes. Okay, that should work as a little line there. And where do you connect to? Are you to here? Ooh, okay, we'll do that. That's fine. Sure, why not? We'll just slowly start connecting some things and then we'll figure out where the... I'm gonna raise this up one. This... We can just make it a little rockier than rock. I don't know, sounds fine to me. How do you get better at building? Any tips? I do the biggest thing you can say is this is the... Honestly, I posted a video on my second channel a while ago about how to build better and kind of talking about that and how to actually like grow as a builder. So if you really want like a long, like 15 minute spiel, I would say go watch that. There's a recent, fairly recent video on the second channel about it. Um, if you want a super quick tip, like a simple kind of catch all is you need to figure out how you learn best. 
whatever that might be you got to experiment with a few different learning styles see what sticks for you and then you got to do that whether that's practicing whether that's studying what other people do whether it's a combination of like trial and error all that type of stuff you just you got to figure out what works for you and then you use that to slowly add things to your toolkit that will make you a better builder Yeah, Ryan, not exactly like him, you know. Thank you, Liz. But also, you said you're muted, so you probably can't hear this. So, unless the meeting ended, then that's cool too. Now, I make Tunnler's dream super flat and I start doing quarries. That's kind of fun. I'm excited to see what Mog does with his Tunneler's Dream playthrough and his goal to beat every super flat world. I'm excited to see how how he tackles the Tunneler's Dream. I don't know if he's done it yet or not. But I'm very interested. If y'all haven't seen the series mog has been doing about trying to beat super flat on every single difficulty y'all should check it out it's worth a watch he does a good job pleased to meet you i'm not recording any of this i've been here for a half hour and i haven't recorded a single thing oh what am i doing streaming gross No, I got to double dip all the content. We can't just be only streaming. Gross. No, never. Ian, thank you so much for becoming a member, my dude. I appreciate it. If you'd like to get the world download and all that cool stuff, be sure to join the Discord. Link your account up and you can get access. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Uh, by the way, quick way to get a streamer to not do something is to spam. Can you say this, please? No. Don't tell me what to do. I'm trying to protect him, and he keeps walking into the sunshine. It's his own fault if he if he dies at this point. You can only do so much to save some people in Minecraft. In life, too. Some people you just gotta let them cause some problems. Pleased to meet you. I was, I'm like, why do I have this song on here? And then I let it play and I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of a bop. Look at that, that works. I'm trying to just add small rocks. Like not every rock needs to be super massive and like right in your face. Like kind of like some of them just being a little smaller and off to the side. Like barely poking out of the train. Broken Ritual, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pleased to meet you. Uh, B, thank you so much for the Prime. I'm gonna go with that. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it there. That's, that's, yeah. Okay, let's bring this back. Oh, this is gonna be like weirdly flat in here. That's okay. That's fine. We can have a random little flatter section. Do you think you've reached 10,000 hours playtime in Minecraft? Yes. Yeah, uh, last year I played almost 4,000 hours of Minecraft. 
And that was in one year of doing this as a job. So, <laughs> yeah. I play a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> Whether that's good or bad, I play a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I play, I play a decent amount of Minecraft, one might say. What mic do I use? I use the Shure SM7B. Very common creator microphone. <gasps> We're out of dirt. Panic. Ooh, I like the way this is coming together though. I like it. We're gonna need to do another rocky section. Otherwise this is gonna really stand out. So maybe like right here, we can kind of have a big old rocky face. He's a bit of a gamer, you could say. Yeah, I do some gaming. One could say I game. But my job is not game, unfortunately. Job is also not Minecraft, also unfortunate. I was watching Mana Lords, some Mana Lords before joining the stream. I can't wait to see you play it. Yeah, I reached out to the publisher this morning to see if I could get an early access key. <laughs> I did. I did. I feel like I did the. I hope. I hope to be one of those influencers that reaches out and brands are like, oh yeah, we like working with this guy. <laughs> like this, we like this person. Cause I started the message with saying, hey, is there a way that I can purchase an early access key to play early? Like I really love this game and I don't want to wait till next week, but I also want to give you money to support the studio. <laughs> like I'm not asking for anything free. I just I like, could I just get it early? <laughs> like that's it, <laughs> that's all I want. <laughs> So hopefully we'll see. We'll see if if I can get it. If I hear back from them and can get a key early, and I've if I have some downtime this weekend, we'll probably I'll probably boot up a stream and we'll just play Manor Lords Twitch only. I'm I'm not gonna stream it on YouTube, but yeah, we'll. If I can get a key, I'll I'll stream. My one of my good friends is coming to stay with us this next week, so I will be very busy while he's in town. So I can't do that. I probably can't throw on extra streams, but yeah, if, if we can get it this weekend, I will definitely. I'll definitely do a little cheeky bonus stream for the weekend. Creeper behind you. <gasps> oh, man. Hollow dark space underneath equal no mobs up top. Exactly. Thankfully, somebody's finally realizing why we leave the darkness down there. I can last through an entire night if I want to, and there will be no mobs that spawn because they're all down there already. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, that was really loud. Caitlin, thank you so much for the dono. For the biddies. Not sure if you can share it. But who makes your custom skins? Uh, Zombini used to make my custom skins, but I haven't heard or seen any content from them for a long time. So I'm not sure if they're still making Minecraft content or making Minecraft skins for people. So um, I haven't had a new skin made in probably like six months now since Empires. Do I regret building in spawn? Like in the world spawn over there? No, not at all. When I jump out of the end and I don't have a bed set and I can actually see stuff I made, I'm like, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I don't care to fully optimize a Minecraft world. Like I just, I did that in the building with whip world of like, I moved very, very far from spawn, like a full thousand blocks before I even built anything just because I wanted to go to a certain biome that I had found and I wanted to base there. And then I just couldn't really find anything that was remotely that interesting. So yeah, Zombini made some really awesome stuff. They were, they, they are so, so insanely talented. So I know, I, I, I know a few skin artists now that like, I, I know Sausage found somebody new that they've been working with because I got the contact for Zombini through Mythical Sausage. Um, 
Sorry, I'm trying to create a little valley here. I want this to be dipped down. I, I want this to be much lower than everything else. Uh, but yeah, so I've got got a few ideas in mind for new skin artists that I, if I'm looking for something, I'll reach out to. But I also really just like the one I have right now. I don't think I really need to update anything. So the only updates would come if I have a series where I want a custom skin for it. But I feel like I'm in this stage where I've every series besides my single player ones, I always have custom skins. And I kind of like just using my default one. I really like the default Minecraft skin I had created like this one. This, this, I really, really like this Minecraft skin. I think it's so good. So I'm not too keen on using anything else right now. When do you think you'll be putting this Minecraft world onto the Minecraft marketplace? I have zero plans to do that. Um, maybe, maybe if like the world ends, I'll consider putting it on marketplace, but I don't want to do it right now at all. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even thinking about that. Like if the Minecraft, if we end up losing this world, when we end up losing this world, then I'll, I'll think about putting it up for like a market marketplace or something like that. But going through the effort to convert it all and getting it ready for there is pretty big. I know. So I, I, I might, who knows? I posted in discord, but I found out how to make your hoodie in Stardew Valley. Oh my God. Somebody tagged me on that. Mandolin, you have full permit. You have full permission to tag me in that post. <laughs> I will find out how to do it. I, I will do it. If you found out, I will do it. I'll make it happen. And if the, one of the mods gives you grief for tagging me, just tell them I told you to do it. They're in here right now. Why we why we toxic today by the way chat? Why wh how did how did we get so many little toxic kitties in here? Are are the are the middle schools out today or something something going on? I feel I feel like we got so many more toxic people in chat today than something. I, I know spring break's over so it's probably not that but like what's going on? Some y'all need to calm down and take a chill pill. We don't like putting up with toxicity here. We're just a, a chill little Minecraft community trying to play some video games and make some cool stuff. If you don't want to, if you don't want to be wholesome, then you can you can go chill in other people's chats. You know, it'd be wholesome 24 seven, but like just don't be rude, you know. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard to be a good person. It's, I know it's surprising, but it's really not. Not the middle schoolers. <laughs> Dude, that's my only explanation. The only time I have is that somebody is so emotionally immature is to be doing this in a chat is that they literally have to be literally emotionally immature because they're a child. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> I, I, that's the way my brain logics through it. That's like, if you are this emotionally immature that you got to be coming into stream and trying to grasp at any straw you can to try and make somebody uncomfortable, you probably just like, there's a lot of things that you got to work through for one. Like, I mean, yeah. it's called projection and uh, maybe it's a sign that you should talk to somebody, but like, it's not a good look, not a good look. What's your least favorite biome in Minecraft? I think the swamp biome. I just, anytime I like see a swamp biome, my first initial thought every time is, dang it, I can't build here. Pleased to it doesn't you. matter what's around it or anything. Like, and we're, we're struggling with that here on this project because the far side, we're going to reach swamp biome and we're really going to have to change things up and it's going to be gross. Uh, but yeah, my first thought every time I see a swamp biome is, yep, this is no man's land. I can't build here. I just hate the water color and I hate the grass color. I think it's so bad. 
thankfully we have moss so we can kind of clean it up and make it a bit brighter but the watercolor is still gonna just be nasty so this is what it is jinxie thanks so much for the eight months wholesome vibes only allowed yeah that's the way to go I can, it's okay to get tilted like that's that's part of being human it's okay it's okay to do that and it's like i mean i was even talking early on stream i got pretty tilted playing some games last night and i reached out to the people i was playing games with this morning i was like hey i apologize like <laughs> i still stand by what i said but I, I apologize for how i said it um and I, that's okay it's part of being human is that you, nobody's gonna be perfect all the time but you don't have to be mean there's a there's a difference between being mad and being mean i actually like the swamp color though i also like turning swamps into tar pit areas but i agree they're gross yeah you could do something like that that'd be fun i've always thought if anybody knows world of warcraft um ungoro crater i've always wanted to do something like that in a swamp biome Keep and I think with the moss, we can, we can definitely do it. Your ref with her. Thank you. Yes, toss a like to your flipper, please. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's Jewel only sharing now? What did I miss? Polytone should be able to change the swamp colors with the texture pack. Ooh. Oh, right. I feel like you told me that a while ago. One girl crater mentioned. <laughs> I mean, I got tilted raiding Sunken Temple last night, so <laughs> I think I'm uh, starting to get to a point of being like, I think I'm kind of done with playing WoW for a while. I, I think I think I've had my my experiences, and uh, I I I love MMOs that have smaller group content, like five six people, where every single or up to ten up to ten, where every single person that's in there is like really really impactful on what's going on and like you're working together and you can communicate easily because there's only a few people in there and the new wow patch for i've been playing classic and it moved it up to 20 people when it was 10 before and i'm like uh, -uh it's too many too too many cooks in the kitchen and it's just it's frustrating this is not looking too shabby i think a little like kind of rock right in there could be kind of fun so let's go what's the worst biome to build in i mean for me i'm gonna say a swamp or a mesa mesa bombs are just too warm for everything so they're kind of difficult and then optimal wild experience is being a lore head and casual in all other aspects yeah my brain i wish i could do that but i even when i'm playing stardew valley man my brain could not stop min maxing the game like that that's just that's how i've gamed my entire life and i can't get my brain to not do it like i'll try like i'll try and play casual and it'll last for a few weeks before i'm like ooh, but i could do this to min max like that could i, I could be like i could be doing more damage here i could be doing this and then i just like like I'm not even playing with a group of people that are like really try hard. Like I I know that I don't like that, but I'm definitely getting like a I I'm catching myself being like ah it's it, nah. It's just my my brain will not turn off when it comes to that sort of stuff. And that's a me thing and I like I keep that in check very much of I kind of hit walls with games where I like I don't like the route that I'm going down on it. So like I'm usually just like, and I think I'm done playing the game for a while. Okay, there's that. That's looking pretty good. I had a dream about WoW flipping a few of my own friends were in it. It was odd. I never played WoW. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> That's the best part of that whole comment. What colors do we want swamp grass and water to be? Dude, I just want Minecraft water across the board to be like a consistent blue. Like this blue is great. It's so good. Like a little variation, a little uh, like the turquoisey blue out in the ocean is cool. But outside of that, I think it's just like, uh, I don't know. I, I like the consistent Minecraft blue. Like I'm thinking about altering my texture pack to 
get rid of a little bit of the texturing on the top I, I, you've probably seen a lot of other people using packs that do that recently where water just becomes a bit more of like a consistent blue instead of feeling very tiled with the minecraft little texturing on it i think i might be doing something like that i don't know if that's a mod is that i think b-dubs uses it right i've, I've been seeing other people running it I'm not sure if it's a mod or something. I'm assuming it's a mod or like a pre-built texture pack that just makes it clearer just by how many people I've been seeing running it. Because there's no way that many people are out there just changing the texture themselves. Ah, I guess that stays as path. UB path now. Not the city, just the block. It's going to be a pain in the butt when we start turning this into path blocks of having to come back down here because I definitely have not been double layering them for the overlap, which I should be doing. I'm just going to pull up chill today and trying to rearrange our building. Keeps running off min maxing tasks, get more advancements, achievements. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I, I'm in my Stardew Valley phase right now where I'm like, okay, so I got the community bundle done and I'm sitting on like 150,000 gold in game. What do I do with it? And so apparently my answer was I'm going to build two more barns so I can invest in more animals. <laughs> like, I just was like, yep, let's, let's go. Let's get the barns. <laughs> I'm trying to get ostriches. I've heard ostriches are in the game. And then I was like, I want. I don't care what it takes to get them. I am working towards being an ostrich farmer. Rancher. My my end goal for that Stardew Valley save is to have three large barns completely full of ostriches. Why? Because it sounds like fun. Let me get that for you. Oh, do you? Oh, do you know what the mod is or the thing? Is it? I don't, yeah. If you know what it is that they're using, I'd feel free to send that over. Hope you have an awesome stream. Deserve it. All love from everybody. Hey, Joker. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good one today, my friend. Water color should be decided by plant life around and in the water. Yeah, if Minecraft had the ability to like change the color of water or something like that beyond just the biome, that would be pretty cool. But I don't think we're getting that. And I, I, because I know a lot of people are like, well, Terraria made it so that you can just create a biome by putting certain blocks in an area. When you're in a 2D space, works super well. Like that is very easy to do because all you have to do is check if blocks are there. But then if you're doing that in Minecraft, like, you're going to have so many extra mechanics to deal with in a 3D space comparatively. So I understand why Mojang's like, nah, we're biomes are locked to where they are. I do think there should be other ways to obtain biome unique things. Like I think the wandering trader is a great option, but I also think there needs to be a few more options than just wandering trader. I'll help. Hey, helping. Have you built a gravestone for one of your friends who died in the hard world? Yeah, we have quite a few in here. We built one earlier today for Owen. <laughs> I think. Not, not what I was looking at. Never mind. We ever stream Stardew Valley gameplay? I really, I would love to. Like, I think it could be fun. But I also really love having games that I don't do any content with. Like, I, 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 don't get me wrong, hanging with y'all is great. But there is very much a difference between streaming a game and playing a game. Like, I, it's like, 
the whole having to be an entertainer aspect to it is easily, very easily lost. Or like, it's so much more draining. It's so much different than just simply being like, yeah, I really enjoy playing this game, so I'm gonna sit down and play this game. Like, even if I were to do like, uh... I know Shelby, for example, she does if she's just grinding in her Minecraft world, she now like streams to her Discord with like all of her supporters in there and so they can just tune in and watch her just breaking blocks and things she doesn't even talk or anything but i'm like even i've thought about doing that but i'm like even that just sounds like a lot of extra energy and being careful about like what's going on and like trying to be like well i have to keep this entertaining whereas sometimes i'll be here grinding for blocks and whatever and they'll just get up for 15 minutes and go walk around the house and play with the dogs or whatever but like if i'm streaming or something i can't i can't do that like i have to be here paying attention the entire time like example would be if i have to go to the bathroom like <laughs> i'm losing viewers <laughs> like it's a, such a weird thing you have to think about it's worse on youtube than it is on twitch twitch seems to be a lot more generous with streamer being like hey i'll be back in three minutes but like youtube if you're like hey i'm gonna leave for 20 seconds usually usually 30 percent of your viewers are gone like if i if i run to the restroom and go to the bathroom youtube i will usually lose two to three hundred viewers it's absurd it's so weird the youtube attention span is so different youtube living is live streaming youtube living um is not great for for casual gaming live streams it is it's not a good platform built for casual live streamers the live streaming here is like for an event that you're a part of or something like a once in a month live stream where you're doing like a big show and tell or something like that like that's where youtube live stream gets its its benefits but it really does not because they're expecting like video quality production your average viewer is i guess which is there a certain synonym of world building blacklisted there shouldn't be what did you send now i'm curious I'm so, what did you, what did you send that got blacklisted? I'm so curious. <laughs> I haven't updated the blacklist on Twitch in a very, very long time. Oh, if you put, did you type lore? I think, I think lore is banned on Twitch. Like, I think I banned, I think I blocked the word lore. Maybe, I can't remember. Game pause, I'm leaving. I know, God, how could you tab out my Minecraft gameplay? I don't regret moving to YouTube for streaming. Like, it's definitely been better for me and, like, how I want to be, how I want to stream and interact with everybody. Like, that has had a benefit of a lot more of my audiences here. So, it's allowed me to stream less often, but have more impact with each stream I do, which is great because then that kind of hits that middle of the road point where i don't love live streaming for long periods of time like i hit two hours and i'm like i'm done i i don't i don't understand how some people stream for eight hours a day seven days a week like i i would actually be a zombie i would i would not function outside of streaming maybe that's it maybe maybe outside of streaming they just curl up in a ball and sleep until next stream starts but like ah no that's <laughs> that's not how i want to live my life <laughs> Oh, he's talking to Twitch. Guess I'll leave. Yeah, I know. It's, it's fair. I, understandable. Understandable. He's prioritizing a different platform that I'm not on. I'm out. I love having a comm stream background when I'm doing something else, but I guess if people are looking for action all the time and they may not have the attention for a streamer. Yeah, it's... uh, YouTube is, like, so... Like, Twitch, if you're live for a longer period of time, you will gain viewers. Like, that's just kind of how the algorithm works. You'll just slowly work your way up the feed, usually. 
Uh, you'll plateau at some point, but you'll slowly like gain over time as people come in and they just will leave it on in the background and forget it's on or something like that. And you'll just slowly keep increasing in viewer number. YouTube, if your live stream dips in viewer count, it's never coming back. I have never had a live stream that started dipping in viewer count on the two years I've been on YouTube pick back up on viewers. And then that also hurts the VOD's ability to get views later. So, like, <laughs> I've had conversations with my partner manager about it, and he's pretty much told me that when things start to slow down on YouTube for, like, the stream, like, that's when you end your stream. Like, when things start to slow down. And I'm like, but what if that's 45 minutes in? And he was like, eh. I'm like, that sucks. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that. I just want to chill and work on a project that I'm going on. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird one. It's, it's a weird platform. It's built for videos, and then they added live streaming to it for some reason like sometimes the chaotic SOS streams are really fun like I have a lot of fun messing around with my friends on there but then also at the same time I'm like ah no I'm I'm ready for sleep after those end I'd, I'd get no work done for the rest of the day where one of these can end I'll take like 45 minute break and I'll come back and I'll keep recording I don't know. Woes of a streamer. Not a fan of how steep this is, but we'll just let it live. It's okay for some sections of this train to be a little on the steeper side. that can also start looping out that way you know, YouTube streams also just don't show up in my recommended feed yeah yeah they uh unless you get the notification that this streams happening you usually you will never know what's happening unless you go to your sub feed and the amount of people that look at their sub feed on YouTube so small so small I think like <laughs> 20% of my views across the entire thing come from people clicking the video off their sub feed. Exactly, kitty. Just random, a little erosion something happening. is the only place I ever look at videos from. I guess I'm the odd person, right? Dude, it's so weird. I only look at the sub feed too, but there is a, apparently a vast majority of people on YouTube who only l click Hikari things off their home screen. Halo lore fact. Form runners get their infinite energy from aborting new universes right as they are about to begin and harvesting the potential energy. Hmm. That's a good fact. Good fact. Good fact. Thank you. ODST, I appreciate the dono and the fun facts as always. Also, Megzi, I believe I missed this earlier. Thank you so much for the 26 months, my dude. It'd be cool to have an, the option for forests to slowly grow back to the original footprint. Oh, like Minecraft forest. That would be kind of fun. I feel like that'd cause a lot of chaos in trying to do things with the regions, though. This is looking good. I like. I mostly click on the home screen. Oh, yeah. No, I, like, if there's nothing on my sub feed, I'll just refresh the home screen until something interesting pops up. Let's fill in that little bit, and then we'll see. I love the scale of this as it grows upwards. Getting that distance, just feeling like you're really climbing. Like, I feel like I'm we're climbing right now. Like, I mean, we're like hiking up the side of a mountain. I don't like how many of those things are just consistent, though. It's okay. It's just part of it. If I micromanage every little section, we're never going to finish this project. How will you continue the path up or around the mountain range? 
we're gonna build the mountain we're gonna build all the terrain and then we will worry about what the path looks like for now couldn't care less i want to build a landscape and then once the landscape is done then we will figure out how to put the human element into the landscape i i don't like building a land my like a massive tr landscape terrain or something and then like having pre-planned the human element like to me i'm like i i would rather do it the other way around the more natural way of kind of be like okay so this is here this is this this all stuff like we have the landscape we have this we have blah 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 and then it's like all right now that we have all of this in here we figured out what it looks like how do people live in this setting i think that's a fun challenge to tackle What's your favorite building on the hardcore world? I really like the mansion. I said the mansion and the pillager castle are really up there. The mud brick castle I really liked. It seemed like a lot of people really, really liked the mud brick castle. We've fallen through. But yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, I, got, I got some cool builds coming in the future. I think I think it's going to change that list of ones that I really, really like. I honestly, the builds coming in episode 61. I finished the episode. We're just getting edits. Edits and everything are getting wrapped up. I'll hopefully get a draft back this afternoon to review. But I, the, the builds I made in 61 are some of my favorite additions that we've added to the city. I'm really, really excited about it. I, re I really hope everybody enjoys the video and enjoys the new builds some of my finest walk okay this is looking pretty good for real. my pyrenees got up so now i'm covered in white fur that's the way it goes that's that's the way the long-haired dog it do real. found you a few weeks ago and love your work dog truly you have a great skill keep it up my guy hey thank you so much i appreciate it glad you glad you're enjoying everything thank you so much for Pleased the donut I know we're losing dirt, but it's it's for the greater moss. Just a little bit. We'll, we'll start just slowly getting... And we could just technically build this all out of dirt and then come back and mossify. That'd probably be a better bet. But I do like having a lot of our moss just like chilling around the rocks little bits little bits and bobs here and there so is this eventually going to be a whole mountain range or more of just a ridge type thing i'm going for mountain range i'm also reserving the ability to pivot later if we want to Like that's supposed to be the start of a mountain. There's gonna be, well, there's a you know, cheeky cam here. There's gonna be like a big mountain here. I'm in free cam, characters back there. Uh, big mountain covering this mountain biome. And then it's gonna be like a valley coming back here through where that river is, probably up to like a lake or something. That'll be, and then we'll probably have a pretty steep drop off on that side. I'm not too sure how that's gonna go. Maybe, I feel like splitting off of a lake into two rivers is weird. So I don't know if we'll do that, but maybe we'll have like a, if it really rains hard, then there's like a really murky, muddy section that looks like it could be a waterfall, but it's dried up right now. Cause maybe there's, I like to picture this world as being like, like early summer, like where all the first harvests are about to happen and everything. Um, but then it's going to come back. So that'll be a big mountain. And then we'll come back here a little bit further. And then we're... this all is going to be a massive mountain here is the way to go, but yeah, we'll, we'll see where it lands. It's a lot of blocks. And uh, we're going to need a lot more likes on the, the short that I posted. I think I'm going to have to do it again. 
uh because after wednesday's stream i owe according to the shorts and all like the sub goals and everything that i've gotten off of it um we owe a total of 140,000 blocks so far we have placed over 50,000 so you know we're, we're we're already almost a third of the way through the the goal that is currently set for the milestone so we'll, we'll see where that lands are we need to keep up on it or not uh genfire thank you so much for the raid welcome on in everybody what we're we all up to today appreciate it thank you thank you thank you we're just here placing a bunch of blocks placing a lot of dirt making making build making landscape creating caves and cliffs part three because i know every single minecrafter would love to see caves and cliffs part three Fire raid warming your heart. That's a nice little message. Wow. I'm studying while listening to you in the background. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Ah, no. Broke. My dirt. My dirt. It's fine. One for the darkness. There will be many that go into the darkness. Will be better than the current update. Oof. True. You know, if we could just get somebody at Mojang to sit there and build worlds by hand for every single Minecraft seed out there, I think we could get some pretty good seeds for people to play on. Like if they could just get in there by hand, stop using the stupid little algorithm to create these worlds for us. Can we just like hire a team of developers for Mojang to sit there and create worlds? Hmm. Just think about it. Think how cool that would be. You just, you'd have a full custom world. Every time you hit reset, or like refresh the seed, you would just get, you would just get a new Mojang employee there being like, sure, one moment, please. Just give me three years and I'll make spawn region for you. Mm -hmm. I think it could be good. Late to stream. Did he make a grave? Yeah, we did make a grave. How are you doing, Burb? Welcome on in. We did the little grave, and we realized that Owen uh, and Looney died on the same day, two years apart. How sad. There's certain people who would love to be paid for that, too. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't pay that well, though. Like for hours put into what you'd get out of it, probably not the not probably not the best. Pro, stop using dirt. Uh, no, I'm the pro. You just called me a pro. Uh, the pro knows what he's doing. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Brunhilda, start using dirt. Might help your Minecraft builds. Who? <laughs> I'm in a spicy mood today, apparently. Yeah, yeah, let's let's keep the rhetoric going. The Mojang's just really lazy. Yeah, it's so, so true. Yeah. Actually, did you know just all video game developers? So incredibly lazy. How could they not just make a game in two minutes that will appease every single person in the entire world? Gosh, so lazy. They could do so much better. Oh, I, I hope you're picking up that. I was joking about that, too. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, and if you can make it only 99 cents for the entire game, that'd be great. And every update you ever release, if it's not free, you're just greedy. I mean, sure, sometimes you could add a glove or something. I don't know. Maybe like some boxing glove that you can punch things with for like three times the price of the game itself. And that might be a little weird, but like, I don't know. I'm just saying. Hmm. 
No mega bases allowed, only dirt huts. What if it's a mega dirt hut? Loophole? Loophole? Maybe. This is going to be such a pain to turn into path blocks. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to go land on my tree. I need a better viewing tree. This one's not a great angle yet. It'll be great once we get a little farther over here, but like... Who's getting there? Yeah, I am liking it. I am liking this. Building the entire Shire would be a mega build. This just dirt huts. Uh, are you calling a hobbit hole a dirt hut, Sparrow Row Row? Come on, a, a hobbit hole is so fancy on the inside. Not even close to being a dirt hut. How dare you speak ill of hobbit kind. We'll stab you right in the kneecaps. Be careful. Make a custom burst tree to see the view. We could. We could. Just take one of those guys. Plop it right over here. Once we start adding trees to this, it's going to be very interesting. The dirt hut with extra steps. True. Yeah. yeah. You'll do the other side too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Come on now. Focus on the pretty looking from one angle. And then we'll focus on it looking nice from two angles and then maybe third and fourth. See, see, we just gotta, we got, we got that. That's gotta get filled in and then that'll make this feel a lot better. And then we can connect that back into here somehow. Oh, right, 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 right. That right there, we were gonna do like a, a big bulky stone something along. Right, 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 right. Of course, duh. Okay, speaking of stones. And even filling in the whole mountain. Oh yeah, I will definitely 1000% be not filling in anything below the mountain. No. Absolutely not. Not in... Nobody could donate enough money for me to fill in or even attempt to lava cast the inside of this. I've seen Pix try and do it. And I don't believe he was that successful. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, it's a free mob farm. Come on. It's filled with air blocks. Exactly. Exactly. What more could you want from me? I've given you air blocks. breadsticks I have no idea and I'm a little scared something about those names make me not want to google that what's your brightness I'm playing at 140 percent right now I used to play at like 250 and I recently been playing with turning it down a good amount just to get a little bit more a little bit more moodiness in some builds <gasps> what if we do like a little, a little, I know, so exciting, right? Wow. What if we do a little like that and then we bring it back down here? Yeah, the inside of the mountain is just a massive cave. Have you heard of Gobland? It's like that, but bigger. 
It's so big, there's an entire forest and swamp underneath inside the cave. This is really amazing. It's real. Stats? How much dirt placed? Hashtag dirty spec block. Dirty. The dirty block over there. Uh, total dirt placed right now is 208,000. On this build, we are probably nearing in at like 53,000 total blocks placed for this thing right now. Really is going to kind of depend on where things end today. I We haven't really cleared too many boxes. I think it's best to probably like work from the no stop it I don't know which way it's best to work with from here maybe we just like create a line up there and then we divide it into a small bit and then we kind of keep working off of that just take a piece of the pie. Once we get the pie, we fill in the piece. Fill in the little slice. That is so much easier. There's a new custom cave biome filled with even more mobs. <gasps> yeah. I know. I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I re I've get This is Caves and Cliffs Part 3. We're just creating the under plains biome. Coming soon. It's like a plains biome, but there's always zombies spawning. And soon you'll be seeing people surviving 100 days in a darkness only world. Sorry, 100 nights. Actually, Catherine already did that. But 100 nights of Minecraft in the dark. Yeah, you never know. Could be the next trend. We could be starting the next trend right here. Make custom caves. I would love to at one point. I, I, I think it'd be really cool to make a giant, like massive custom cave biome. Like I, what Looney's done in his current hardcore season. Very cool. Very, very cool. He's been able to capture and like create down there, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to commit to anything like that. We got to build top and then we'll think about inside. That man's been working on a single cave and mountain base for a year now, and I I don't want to be committing into that much right now because there's so many other builds I want to do in this world. Storykeeper, thank you so much for the 500 biddies. Yes, caught a live stream. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, my bit bomb. I'm always so... I'm still, like, so taken back when somebody donates bits. I'm like, what's that noise? I'm so not, like... This is triggering something in my brain I haven't heard for a long time. Look at that sun dropping. Should I be behind the mountain, but it's not. Oh, well, we're one, two, three. We're three boxes through today. So that's another... 1,740 per box. What What's that math out to? Three shulker boxes. How many, how many have we placed? And we've done some... We've done some stone placing and everything in there, so we're probably close to probably closing in on the big old five thousand, if I had to guess. We're good on stone for now. Speaking of stone, though, let's do a little baby rock. Do that that works yeah. Yeah. 
6,960. I don't believe that's 1,740 times 3. Is it? Doesn't sound like it. Because that'd have to be three twos to start. Quick math. I never said it's. I never said I was good at math. I just said I was quick. Three boxes, six thousand nine. That's. I was like, no, there's. <laughs> that's two thousand times three at minimum. <laughs> Five thousand two hundred twenty. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That was like that seems more like it. Easy. Oh, we forgot to finish off that a little bit. I got so excited about rock. Mountain you made on Origins SMP. Oh, you mean Afterlife SMP? I was not on Origins SMP. Like, what do you mean Origins? If you mean Afterlife, where we had like the big spiky mountains, I, I know what one you're talking about there. too far back. Mm, that's fine. I try to not have like more than four going straight in a diagonal line because I think it looks a little artificial. In three boxes it's 1740 is each box whatever that is times three Just fell. I'm fine. It's okay. No need to freak out. Calm down. It's easy. Chill, 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 chill. We're fine. No freaking out. It's okay. Wish I had the motivation to finish a build like you do, Flip. Small bits at a time. Small little itty bitty bits at a time, and it will eventually become big build. We've been working on this for a long time already. Are we freaking out? No, we're not freaking out, Umberfy. We're specifically not freaking out. No need to freak out anymore. We, we're good on the freaking out. Thank you. No freaking out, please. Stop. Stop, Stop freaking out. We're not fine. We're fine. We're, no, we are fine. We're not not fine. How do you switch between hardcore survival and creative to grab dirt and then back to survival? I'm not going into creative mode. If you're talking about how I do this, like that, that's a, the middle of the scroll wheel on your mouse. You can click that. It's a feature in base Minecraft. 
Good old vanilla Minecraft hotkeys. My strategy for big builds is to do at least two at the same time so I can take a break and jump from one jump from to the other when I get tired of the first one. Yeah, that's a good way to go. I think that can help a lot. And then also making sure the projects that you do pick are projects that are very different from each other. I think that's a very important step for getting into the mega build scene is a lot of people will kind of do those multiple projects, but then they have, okay, I'm building a village here in the taiga biome. And then over here, I'm building a village in the plains biome. And uh, in one of them, I'm doing spruce and dark oak roofs. And the other one, I'm doing spruce and oak roofs. And it's like, well, you're basically doing the same thing. Like you're still gathering the same blocks. So you making sure there's some variety. Like I, if I'm doing multiple projects at once, I try to keep two in different dimensions and very much one will be a terraforming project. One will be, I don't know, like building in the city. And then one might be doing redstone technical builds. Like, or following a tutorial of somebody doing a redstone technical build and showing how I did it and then turning into a nice looking build instead of ugly redstone stuff. I'm trying to learn the B-dubs way of pretty stone. It's not working. I'm trying. We're slowly getting there. You gotta first understand how to redstone, then you can understand how to break the redstone rules and make pretty things. No, we can look at the back. I'm not hiding it. I know what's down there. Now you can make the 6,900 joke, everybody. Okay, okay, there, there you go. That's four boxes clear. Look at that moss. No, mo not moss. Grass growing over the top of that. I like it. I switch between detailing a custom forest and the other build is a mountain. There's a lot of tiny details. We're putting down giant stone shapes. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's that's a that's a smart way to do it. Then you get you get a lot of variety in what you're actually doing. Instead of it just feeling samey across the board. Like I need to make sure the blocks I'm working with are different and that my headspace around the thing is very different. Like this is, let's just make shapes. Like we're, we're just building shapes here and adding a layer each time as we go. We put in some guideline shapes, then we fill in, we, we color in the middle. Very, very simple. Like I could, I could do this well watching tv and not even and feel like it's totally fine three days later still not done dude if you think this is gonna be done in three days i don't i don't know i don't know man we're not even close to that looking good though let's go check from our original viewing tree where is it i think it's this one no it's this big boy I really like how the shape of that turned out. That looks really good with the uh, one, the consistent dirt going up and then the very occasional rocks. I really like how that this over here is what I wanted to achieve when I started this. And that's OK. That's that's OK. And we'll kind of leave this here in his moment and then we'll kind of give a little bit more rocky bit right back up in there, like a lot heavier on the rock so that it um, this rock doesn't feel so lonely. It has a friend over on the far side. It's getting there. It's it's starting to get there. This is gonna be like half done in November at a hard push, dude. If we take a, if we finish this before the end of the year, I'll be amazed. I don't I don't think end of the year is even possible.
No, this is very much a project that I wanted a project to really just sink a lot of time into. And this is kind of our little canyony bit right here, I believe. Yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're going to kind of take this back here. Pleased to meet you. Joss, with the 24 months. Purple tree, purple tree, purple tree, purple tree. Thank you so very much for the support. I really appreciate that. Pleased to meet you. And Fluxium. Thank you so much for the six months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so then we're going to kind of take this over this way as if we're kind of leaving a little canyony bit. That's going to come up to here. I'm like way cutting that forward. That's okay. We'll do a we'll do a rock right here to make sense for why it's coming up. Easy. And then just as a marker, we'll just throw some stone. That'd be a marker for me to and then to down. That's that's a marker I'll remember. Yeah. then we start creating some like loose stone shapes here the goal is to kind of mimic the others that we have and just really weave the dirt in between them Some of those did extend forward. We're just trying to make it look like a lot of boulders were just piled up here. Something like this. We'll mess with it. We'll mess with it as we're gone. streams and we're seeing progress steadily on the background of videos yeah i think episode 62 is probably gonna be another massive terrain update just because it's been a few since we started it i kind of want to i feel like i owe a video being like hey that thing that we said we're doing the challenge for it's happening here's your little progress update i have been doing the work because i feel like i kind of entered the challenge did that and was like please subscribe and i will place all these blocks and then i haven't put out a video on it not that i haven't been working on it but just the people who see it in streams is a much much smaller audience so i i think i owe it to the the youtube side to be like hey terrain is coming along I wish they had orange leaves in Minecraft. One of my favorite things to do is drive through canyon, the canyon in autumn and see the fiery orange leaves. Yeah. I, I think they're gonna... I would be willing to bet within the next three updates, we will see another form of a color update that's gonna add in a lot of those extra detail options. I, I don't think it's coming next update, but I would be willing to bet that in the semi nearish future, this is probably like my my mean my my bet is that end update is happening soon. Like I, I think 1.22 is going to be the end update. And if it's not, uh, I will be very confused. Um, but I think with that, that there's a a lot of the community is starting to really ask for those colored leaves more commonly so I, I think that's going to be coming in fairly soon because that's a free win and i think mojang needs a free win but it's also one of those things where if they do add it so many people that are the annoying negative people in the community are probably going to be 
about wow this is so easy to add they could have added this years ago and now they finally do it and that's the whole update remember remember, remember? it's like all they did was just add a new block when i don't know what i don't think they even know what they want but yeah i don't know it'll be interesting to see <gasps> the stone how are we looking it's getting there What do you play Minecraft on? My computer. Yeah, that rock down there is going to be very important for making this work. die in hardcore now what would you do go straight in another hardcore series do something else i feel like if i were to die in hardcore now i probably would do something else until 1.21 released and then start a new hardcore series with that but what that other thing would be i don't know because i i don't think that i could like reasonably do like full videos on sos or something like that like i I don't think I'm in a point where I would want to fully dive into SOS. I think it'd honestly just be I would take a break for a little bit and honestly maybe do some like creative videos or something like that. I feel like that could be kind of fun to experiment with. Just do more like we're just going to create like a, a, a fun build, a standalone thing that's not needing to be associated with some grand series or something like that. We don't want to will that into existence so uh i'm not i'm not even gonna think i'm not even gonna think about that can we see the whole mountain yeah well let me keep working at this for a little bit longer and we'll go back and look here. We have so much stone and I, I'm honestly trying to get rid of my stone reserves so that we can start a new digging project where we're going to probably be getting like three, four million stone out of it. So uh, we got to we gotta get this stone placed down so we can clear out storage to make room for more stone. <laughs> I'm only down to like 16 double chests of stone. How am I supposed to live? How are you expecting me to work under these conditions? Uh, let's just keep extending ourselves up here for now. your face into the mountain I had not gotten that far no no Pro probably no face engraving into mountain not really my vibe
Okay, I think we're starting to get a little bit better progress on this. We will see. Polytone is quite the challenge. Oh, is that that mod you're messing with? Yeah, it seems a... Uh, seems an interesting one. I don't really care to adjust the color of the water, per se. I kind of just want to adjust, like, the... Like, I love the distance from back here. It looks great. But then when you get closer, you start to see, like, the Minecraft waves. I think I might create a texture that tones the wave mapping down so it's not quite as bright. It makes it a little bit more subtle and... Just a consistent blue, I think would look a little nicer. That's what I'm thinking about messing with. Base pay me pay. What's up? Stream, I am streaming things. If your world lore, no, lore's banned. <laughs> um, I there's like there are some lore elements, I guess. Like, sure, but I don't really have anything written down or anything that I've like publicly said I like to put the set pieces in play and then let you all kind of take it from there like whatever you your brains take for where all of this lands lore wise or whatever that's that's the lore of the world I think that's fun I think it's I think it's fun to allow the community that is a, are really big fans of this world to kind of create their own storylines within it because I, I think that's that's the true nature of a sandbox game Cha -ching! so I, I like to keep that element alive who was that Why is that hell Lily thanks for five gift members thank you thank you thank you I was like that didn't pop up on my list my brain enjoys the set pieces greatly yeah me too okay let's take a look at this because it's a little we got a little, little bit done I just stay motivated when building big projects, like finishing the back of the mountain. I mean, well, I still haven't finished the back of that one. We built the stone. We haven't textured it at all. <laughs> so I'll tell you when I get there. Uh, no, I think the big thing is that you just gotta you gotta tackle it in small pieces. Like you gotta divide it up. Okay, I I like that. I like that a lot. I think we need to bring a little bit more. Like almost there needs to be like another one right there-ish, and then we need to keep extending it further that way. Like not not up that way. Just like further back. I think that. I like it. I think that's looking good. About a follow. Dude, drop that follow. Do, 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 drop the follow. Bro, you're building a high pixel lobby? Nah, it's gonna be so much better than a high pixel lobby so much better like at least like five times better oh i missed And there we go. Wee we can build off that. Is this Lego Fortnite? Yeah. It is. Lego Fortnite, if you get far enough in the game and you unlock like the super biomes and all that stuff, you can start building out of full blocks instead of just the prefab structures. And then you can do this. Bummer part is, though, that the trees stop respawning. Sound of placing dirt is so satisfying because it's great. 
Wait, you can fly in LEGO Fortnite? Yeah, dude, you can build a whole contraption. You can you can create a flying machine in LEGO Fortnite if you want. That's not dirt. I don't really like how flat this is. Just from the footpath level, I think we do a little rock there. Okay, so then we liked it up to here, and we wanted to extend back this way. as a rock to help kind of guide that line up there and this one here let's do a little like this wrap that around and slowly that'll just kind of inch its way up to here fill that bit in and then bam we're up here we up here now look at that wow i don't like that The addition of steering wheels and car parts made Lego Fortnite X. Yeah, I couldn't get it working when I was playing. I think I was missing a. I think I was missing about, like messing it up on how to do it, or I just hadn't gotten far enough into the game. Because I I played for a good while. I did that stream, and then I also did the sponsored video, um, which was really cool. It was great to work with them. They're, the Epic team was very very professional. They were awesome to work with. One of the, one of the best uh teams i've had to work with for an integration R just really really loved it they were great at communicating um but yeah i i just like i couldn't get far enough in because the world seed that i had spawned into just did not have a desert biome i was fully surrounded by the frost biome or the snow biome so i couldn't survive to get to the desert biome like i literally could not get there i was blocked by everything around me and I just ended up dying like six times trying to explore and find one I saw one in the distance and I literally just could not survive long enough in the cold biome to get there no matter how much gear I got or whatever I did because I couldn't get the recipe to make the thing to be cold resist because I couldn't get to the desert to get the thing to do that and it was just this whole headache <laughs> just got the Shane scene in Stardew oh oh no poor Jess Nobody deserves to hear that from somebody you love. A river could totally become an underground cave when you're done with all these. Yeah, probably. It will probably keep the water element in somewhere. I do like that one time when I updated the world, this just totally broke here. I don't. Somehow the water just despawned. Okay, uh, let's do another. Tiny mountain house on this mountain you're making now. Could potential. Could, could potentially do something like that. I don't want to do any structures yet. I want to I want to establish this region, and then we need to figure out the scale of the structures that we're doing on it. Otherwise, if we just start building things, it's going to look off because most likely what we build now will be either too big or too small for the train so it's going to look really wonky i want to make sure we're kind of being a little intelligent about that I think this might be what we're looking for. Is that another underground cave? Do you think more dwarven stuff? 
Like, part of me wants to revisit the idea that we had for building with Whip of creating, like, a Black Reach type thing in there. And I think that could be so fun to work on with Skulk now. Like, that could be really cool. But I, I don't know yet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting my brain start to think about those ideas before we get too far into this. Okay, that stone back there, from this angle, if we just, like, merge dirt into that to fill in the middle coming back into here that helps blend those sections so much how does it look over here do you have a soul omg we found a south park fan yeah i like that that looks good and well it that is a little flat but we'll fix that that's okay for a rock to be randomly flat too let's get some dirt we'll fill in We'll fill in the... Oh my gosh, that is mine. How? How did he just... Boys, this is my stuff. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Kill the banner boy. Kill, shoot, shoot your leader. No, not that one. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, easy. The combos. I think he's suffocated because he spawned in the shulker, probably glitched through, and then was like half stuck in the block. Never seen that happen before. It's a nap time. Look at that moon. I love. I download the 3D moon from Vanilla Tweaks. I love it. It's so cool. South Park is that where the gingers have no souls joke comes from? You learn something new every day. Oh yeah, we can. Any redhead out there that um, was born in the mid 90s and was bullied for that in grade school, like myself, yeah, you can thank South Park for that one. It's really cool when a, a show puts out some episode like that that everybody absolutely latches on to and then suddenly you lose a lot of friends. So, you know, really, really cool. For nothing you did yourself. You didn't change anything, but one day you show up to school and people are like, oh, you can't sit with us anymore. Uh, that should work there. And then we'll send this back a little bit forward. Stand with the redheads. We appreciate it. We did nothing wrong, and we already can't go outside that long because we got burned by the sun. With that being so high, we could put another rock right here to make sense for it. Uh -huh. It's time for a rock. A rock? I know. Yeah, we're building a we're doing a rock. You never expected the rock. On the top rope. I like that. That'll work. We're going to have to come back in and place so much dirt if we start path blocking all this. It's going to suck. No one ever expects the rock. Yeah. Something, something, Spanish Inquisition.
Sorry. Oh, there we go. One of my friends just texted and said, guess what? You can't do that. I'm really surprised someone recently with a Spanish food cruise joke the other day. It gave me great joy. <laughs> oh, you got somebody with it. That's great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in I'm in dirt ASMR heaven over here right now. I'm just I'm just placing my blocks and mumbling. We we got good Minecraft. This is Minecraft Legends. Rip Minecraft Legends had so much potential, but this is the Minecraft Legends soundtrack. And we're playing Minecraft on a sunny Friday. Ain't half bad. As a boulderer, I approve of these boulders. We got the boulderer, boulderer. Why am I having such a hard time saying that word? The boulderer. Stamp of approval. I'll take it. High honor. Good boulders. Confirmed nice boulders. I think we could fill that in. Not with this dirt. We gotta, we gotta go get more dirt. Late stream hype. Yeah, we're, we're gonna finish this dirt stretch. I want it done. Another shulker down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, this is a sick shulker stream. Sick. I do like this. I, I'm really happy with how this train is turning out. I was a little kind of like, mm, maybe, maybe it'll be good. I don't know. We'll find out. It's scratching the itch. Thank you. It's doing the thing. Hey, Flip. I'm back watching this amazing stream and story you're creating. I love everything you build. I can wait to see your finished world. Quick question. When will the next world tour be as I can't wait to see all the builds I may have missed? Uh, there was a world tour last week. Maybe two weeks ago. Sorry, I'm doing a thing. I'm not just ignoring you all. Right here. Welcome to Flip 2, my second channel. Look at that video. World Tour, my three-year-old hardcore Minecraft survival world three weeks ago. You got two hours. An hour and 51 minutes and nine seconds to be exact. Of you can you can have a full tour of everything in this world as we go and break down and look at every little thing. And I don't think I missed anything. We'll click into it in the top Both comment will tell me if we did miss anything. Or you can go watch Lizzie's video too. That'd be pretty cool. Um or you go watch Banner Lords. Banner Lords is pretty cool. Or you go watch, if you didn't know I'm live right now, We could you could go watch that right there. There's 828 people watching on YouTube, so I appreciate it. Thank you. 
no, the top comment is not saying that I missed anything. It's just about me being colorblind per usual. So, you know, there's there's that. <laughs> but I that must mean I got almost everything. I probably still missed something, but, you know, you can get most of it in there. Is lunch included? I do, I'm giving you two hours of free entertainment and you want lunch? Come on, Mitch. <laughs> How much more do I have to give? Yeah, if you didn't know I'm live, it's pretty cool. You should you should tune in. It's fun. We're actually play the plan today is to build Caves and Cliffs Part Three by placing a lot of dirt, like a lot of dirt. Oh, this is not supposed to be that angle. That's okay though. We can just kind of have it be a flatter section, and then this can. Really like your block choice for this build. Thanks, me too. This is my favorite block in the game. This is actually going to come forward just a touch. Because this is, I want the middle of the valley to be a little bit over that way. If it gets a little off at some point, that's that's fine. We're not going to fill in. Actually, we can probably get all that. I think we have the dirt to do it. We'll see. Whip cussing moment? Did I swear? I don't think I did. If I did, I, it was not intentional. Spruce trap doors would be crying right now. Dude, if spruce trap doors weren't so expensive, maybe we'd hang out more often. Not me. It ain't me. I want to hang out with them, but they're, I can't meet up with their standards sometimes. You want me to place in 200,000 spruce trap doors? Uh-uh, I ain't got that time. Of, I ain't got that cash. I'm just a little humble Minecraft YouTuber. I'm just a little guy. How do you think I'm supposed to afford spruce trap doors? I'm not colorblind. I'm legally blind. All right. There you go. There you go. So that's how you missed the world tour. Got it. You just didn't see it. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad joke. <laughs> Did not. spruce tree farm just for spruce trap doors hashtag worth it yeah yeah if i wasn't like i really like the minecraft grind and part of the way that i stay motivated in this game is keeping survival relevant i don't want to play a version of minecraft where i have to constantly be drinking or like drinking and managing a thirst and a hunger bar like managing hunger bars enough i already automate that as much as i can with just having to right click and then go to my hogland farm and pick up pork chops like i don't even have to trade for golden carrots anymore i literally just walk into the nether and i full shulker box of food as i need it i do it like once every two months um but like i i need this survival aspect to keep me in the game otherwise i'm like why don't i just play creative and save the time I, 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 if you do it, like go right ahead and make all your auto farms you want, do that. But I found for me, the second I get too many auto farms in a Minecraft world, I lose so much inspiration for it. I like my desire to play in that world just plummets. And I sometimes wish that wasn't the case, but I know that about me. So I purposely set up rules and sit like for to help me stay motivated. And part of that is. I found if I make auto tree farms for every type of tree that I just couldn't, I like, I lose that motivation, which is like a weird thing to be like, yeah, I need to go chop trees to stay motivated in my Minecraft world. But like, it's something about keeping 
the game relevant. Like, I, I want to be a Minecraft survival content creator. Like, I, my goal is to show, like, the whole side of Minecraft survival and to experience all that. And when you eliminate an entire aspect of survival, okay, resource gathering, to me, I'm like, what? why am I even playing survival? Like, it's just creative mode without flying after a while. That's my take on it, at least, so. H-Bomb, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Welcome on in, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you doing, H? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just here placing blocks of dirt and uh, following into the dirt ASMR. So we're kind of just vibing quickly. and chilling and working working on this. This is this is what we're working on for right now. Just a, just a wee little itty bitty baby project. Itty itty little itty bitty baby project, but we're we're getting there. Slowly. <laughs> Eventually, that over is also going to be over here. We're just not at that yet. So, welcome on in, everybody. Good to see you. Should make a dirt statue of yourself using dirt, coarse dirt, and other brown blocks. But that's not dirt. Those are brown blocks. Very different. I like that. I like that how that valley connects and everything. We got we we're trying to work on all. A lot of this is new today. We're like probably nearing 50,000 blocks placed on this. Small 6,500 day, day 6,500 plus smallest project I've ever seen. I know, thanks Sparky, I appreciate it. Found that I prefer creative mode single player, but survival multiplayer. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. That's a lot of motivation for single player survival is, or a lot of motivation for survival is kind of can be experiencing that grind with friends and kind of being able to divvy up those tasks that you don't like with some friends who maybe do like them. Okay, that looks really good here now. That look, that looks, that looks really good. It, it is a little baby baby project. Come on now, we, I mean, we're to like from. We ended Wednesday's stream at two thousand two hundred and four thousand dirt place. So like we're up to two, we're almost at two hundred twelve thousand. So we're almost at eight thousand dirt for the day. We're probably up a thousand stone for the day of sorts because we cleared shulker of that. So it's getting up there. Wings are wings are going down. The right side is really nice hilly shape that I really like. Yeah, that's what I, I want there to be a hill region. I don't want to just do Minecraft planes into a mountain. Like, I do just, no, we don't want to do that, which is kind of what we have here, and I don't like it, but I'm not going to read it. We're just going to live and learn and move on from it. But this right here was kind of my first attempt at moving into hilly region, and we did too many rocks. It's it's not, it's, it's not the vibe. It's okay, but it's not the vibe. So I really wanted over here to really bring that gradual slope coming up as we grow something a lot more natural. The big rock you just built looks like a panther on a mountain from far away. Hmm. Uh, I just spawned in a desert. Help. Go, go punch dead bushes. Get sticks. You got it. that back in there all right so there's one dead and then we got two dead three dead four dead five dead six dead six dead boxes today <laughs> a lot of boxes i'm gonna I'm mark this in discord so i don't forget uh wow it's the 19th already jeez Six boxes cleared, which is 10,440 blocks. Cause I, we did the same on Wednesday and I got that written down. So we are at a total is a 60,900 blocks placed because we are only counting blocks placed off of the, the shulkers. Oh my gosh, another raid. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tanisha, thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Good to see ya. We have been placing blocks for the last two and a half hours. So, so many shulkers of things cleared. I'll show, I'll show y'all what we've been working on. Just one, one moment. Let me, let me just place these down here, ready to be filled up for the next time. Oh, I, 
missed him. I missed him. We're working on this project of building an entire landscape. Doing things. It's it's getting there. It's been fun. It's been it's it's the grind is grinding. <laughs> We've placed so many blocks today. <laughs> Seven days until Manor Lords is out. I know, I'm so excited. Let's see what it look what's it look like from the old mountain? This is old mountain, this is new mountain. It looks good. It looks good. Pretty much everything over here from like if you're to draw a line like there, kind of up around that ridge, all of that, all that's new today. We're making progress. I really like the shape. That's going to be fun to work with that little flatter section. That'd be cool. Yeah, welcome on in, everybody. For everybody jumping in from H Bomb's raid and Tanisha's raid, I th thank you both so thank you both so much for the raids and thank you everybody for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, this is I. We are on day six thousand five hundred fifty-one in this hardcore world. Honestly, we should go repair the Elytra. We've been we've been building. We've been doing a lot of building today, so I, I think that's. A, I was wrapping up stream here soon, so we'll have to find a lovely place to send everybody over to. But let's go fix up the wings. Um, yeah, this is. I really like medieval fantasy worlds. If you're not familiar with what I do, I absolutely love to build in this game and create a whole civilizations and everything so this is actually spawn region giant world tree and the works uh nice to meet you. a lot of cool things all the way around here uh whole medieval city and all that stuff kind of coming in together i don't want to go in there because i've been working a lot and there's a new episode coming out next week um of adding a lot more to it so i don't want to spoil it too much sorry this is my starter house for some reason it lags so bad i think one of the i think one of the chunks is unfortunately corrupting and i can't figure it out Everywhere else in the world, I get like 300 FPS. I'm at my starter house and I get like 25. Oh yeah, we'll go check out Owen's grave after. This is my nether. This is my nether hub. It goes to all the different spots and all the farms and things. And this is down into the nether. Whee! So of course we have a weather skeleton farm. Duh. <laughs> Just a quick, quick little stop here. We can also fix up the fix up the tools. Can't wait for the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was chatting with Marcos this morning. I think he's almost got the first draft done, so I'll be able to check it out later today, most likely, if not tomorrow. I like your terraforming projects the most, I think. Yeah, they're, I, I really like being able to put the personality into them. I think it's fun to do the terraforming projects and create really just massive landscapes. I think it's one of those where if it was something that could consistently get good views on YouTube, I probably would do a lot more of literally just terraform. Was that three skulls? I, I saw two in there. I think I saw a third. Was that three for three? I don't know. Uh... I don't know, man. This farm's nuts. How much time did it take to create that hole in the roof? That, clearing that bedrock out of there, I think took me two days. Not even joking. That was... I love it. It's so cool. I will never do it again. <laughs> I will... Never do that again. Beast PvP? How do you go from making fun of me and then trying to make fun of my appearance to then begging for my attention to then hey can you give me tips for my youtube channel do you realize where that trajectory takes you into nobody ever wanting to help you ever Th that's the tip i'll leave you with is if you want to be a content creator maybe think about having positive relationships with people around you you weren't making fun of me bro you told me I, you called me a ginger with no soul <laughs> like how is that not <laughs> you probably don't want to insult somebody you want advice from i'm just saying <laughs> i don't know what to help you there <laughs> Pro tip for everybody else. <laughs> There's your <laughs> There's your tip for now. I'm not a streamer or a YouTuber. There you go. That's fine. That's cool. Not everybody needs to you 
number one tip, I guess, not everybody needs to create content. Your life does not have to revolve around creating content. Sometimes just doing things for your own personal enjoyment. That's pretty cool too. Pretty fun. Yeah, pro tip on how to be a cool creator is have positive relationships with other creators because you can lift each other up. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can help you and your friends grow. It's really fun. When you have YouTube friends, you can start talking strategies on YouTube videos and how to do that. Maybe making some fun SMPs together and do that. And then you all grow. It's really cool. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of Celsius? Their Arctic vibe is I, I like. That one's pretty good. I like their like their tropical and Arctic vibe ones. Those are those have been yummy. I was watching an old video of yours to use an idea for my world. Crazy how far your YouTube personality has come. Your video personality. Yeah, I really came into my own a lot. I think as as you are a creator for longer, you kind of find your voice as a creator and whatever that might mean. And I love looking back at my old videos and cringing because I'm like, yeah, I was so awkward back then. But that was the person that I wanted to be at that point in time in my life. And or maybe that I was I was on a journey. I'm on a journey to where I am now. I feel like I'm finally at a point of being really comfortable with who I am. And then that allows me to be like a full version of myself when I'm portraying into videos and those things. So like. I'll make goofy, cringy comments every once in a while. I'll make terrible jokes because I think they're funny as heck. And I like I like making that type of content. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, he's childish, whatever. Like, no, it's me being me. And I think it's funny. Like, <laughs> they're good bits. <laughs> and that skeleton up there doing swirlies. Come on down here in the pit and do a little dead. I think like there was definitely a while where like when we started this series, I think I was trying out something new with being a little too like, bah, almost like a little me Mr. Beastified in videos. And I'm toning that back. Like I'm actively toning that down a little bit for videos. You'll see in the next one coming out. I'm, I'm going to be slowing down the pacing. I still want to have those like grindy moments and really showing all that. I love the style of video but I'm gonna let scenes kind of linger a little bit more and like spend more time actually showing off builds a little bit instead of just like a quick flash of here it is. And if you really wanna see it, pause the video. Like that type of content, I, I'm I'm realizing that I'm not enjoying watching it anymore. So I'm taking that as for me, like maybe that means that I shouldn't be creating that type anymore. Um, so, and that's okay. It's just part of growing. We're gonna just fill that up with bones because I've been meaning to and I keep forgetting. Spinning like a ballerina. Yeah. Look at him. He's going. He's vibing. Wow. Oh my God. That's a lot of skeletons. Look at him. He's so cute. No, no. We were talking about how cute you were, sir. No skull. Sad. The ballerina. I enjoy seeing your builds more fully, so I'll enjoy that. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping it has a positive like change. But I was looking at the um, retention on the latest SOS video because we very much were trying that in the last one, where we literally just let the bits run. We just it's a 54 minute video and it's almost all collabs and just bits and having fun with people. And the average watch time was 37 minutes on a 54 minute video. That is absurd absurd that thing has better watch time than the latest movie video i released <laughs> that's five hours long <laughs> hundreds of hours on that and no sorting system hey we're chilling i know what i'm i know i know where my strengths lie and it doesn't lie in sorting systems <laughs> you want to gonna make you cringe even more Why? all the people who are new here they're like where's the storage room where's that we haven't seen it that's my wood storage room. This is my starter house where I store things I don't have storage rooms for. That's my stone storage room. I keep all my dirts and everything over in that building right all the way over there. That right there is where all my foliage and leaf blocks are. Everything colorful is in a building that's right over there. And we got a few more things kind of stored around in buildings over there. 
We got moss back over at world spawn at the far side there. That's also a moss farm, but it's outside spawn chunks, so it breaks all the time. Um, yeah, we got wool stored down in there with our little sheepies. And yeah, yeah, all of our gunpowder gets stored out in there. Oh, sugar cane is all stored in here. Yeah, that's, that's, mm hmm. That's the way we do it here. I want I want to live in the world. I don't I don't want to live in a storage room in a corner of the world. Yeah, it's a storage city. Duh. I don't think he even reads my comments. I read that one. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, I mean like why would I build all this and then never walk through it again? I I love this. I love the builds that I've made here. If I don't have a storage room over here, if I don't have a reason to come in here and like grab my little bits of nether ward as I'm going, like I'm, I'm never going to have a reason to ever walk down into this area other than if I'm giving a tour to people or if I specifically want to go walk through there. Like we got the bamboos bookstore. You can come get a book. You can come get some booze and you can come get some bamboo. We really need to fix this up so it looks a little bit better, but like it's fine right now. world is the storage room that's the secret it's all storage well we got that and we got our little drip stone if anybody watched empires we got the drip lounge after gobland because i love that interior so much so we recreated like a simplified version of it here and then we got a little we got like farms all over they're all chillins we go we go experience the world when we need the blocks booze yeah liz how have you never caught that Bamboo's bookstore. It's a bookstore that's also a bar. <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> yeah, we got all this. It's chilling. We just wander around. We just go collect all the things. Usually I'm flying, but like it's kind of fun to walk. Best kind of bar to go to. Oh my gosh, when we were in New York for New Year's, our friends that live out there go to this, go to a bar that is actually a bookstore and a bar. Like it, it's a coffee shop during the day, then turns into a bar at night. And it, it was it was pretty cool. I'm not much of a book reader, but it was fun. But yeah, we got a little storage room here. It's all cool stuff. We'll eventually expand the city out to here. Get like a cool bridge going across. This isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't know. I don't know. Liz is pretty smart. Love the pathway every time I see it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I've been really, this has been a fun project. I really like the upper district. Like all of this through here. All, all of these little builds. I did add the 1.21 uh, experimental features. So that I could get the blocks. I turned off the trial chambers. Um, so I don't have access to those yet. But we have the new copper blocks. Which has been really fun to mess around with. And the new tough blocks. Oh, they're so beautiful. Got a little alleyways. We gotta come back through and start planning these interiors. I think it might be... Uh, I might start doing some really late night streams. Where we're just gonna go on a creative copy of this world. And just start planning interiors. Because I don't want to do them in survival. I'll never do them if I keep saying I'm gonna do them in survival. But if I plan them in creative and then bring them into the world and then recreate them in the actual world and like go gather all the things like that could be fun like this was me doing the extent in actual survival like it, it, it's okay it's not great it's a little tailor shop and then this the grocery store the grocery store is pretty sick it's pretty great and then of course in the grocery store you have your pumpkins and melons so we got a little farm in there what you said to beast PvP was kind of rude. How is it rude to tell somebody I'm not going to give them advice when they're being rude to me? I mean, I, I, the, the whole idea that a creator can't tell somebody that they're wrong, I, I do not agree with that at all. If somebody's coming in here and actively trying to get under my skin and be mad at and get me to like react and be upset or make me feel bad about something absolutely zero part of me is going to cater towards their feelings like i don't want them in my community 
if you're coming in here and you're being rude to me or being rude to somebody else, like you're not welcome here and I, I don't want you here. When he was insulting you, yeah. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you on that. Like that's, I don't owe you all anything. <laughs> like I don't, I don't owe you as a streamer that I'm gonna just sit here and take whatever you want to throw at me because you, you can't take it under yourself to actually look into your emotions outside of a stream that you have to come in here and make fun of a streamer like <laughs> that if you if you go into twitch chats or you go into any chat and you're there to make fun of the streamer like you got some issues that you need to work out with yourself and some growing that you need to do that's it's as simple as that like and i, I just i couldn't care less it's not it's not my fault that people don't understand social norms But yeah, if you don't agree with that, you're you're more than welcome to leave too. Like you don't have to be in the stream. <laughs> like I feel free to go. <laughs> uh yeah, so I think we've just been wandering around for a while. World spawns right over here. We can just... Yeah, there's absolutely Freedom of speech or whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter in here. There's absolutely no requirement for me to allow people to stay in these chats. <laughs> I could I could turn off chat if I wanted to, and that's totally fine. Flat out said it wasn't a reference to South Park. I mean, yeah, it's, that's where the joke started. So it is what it is. But with that, we're going to move on to happier times, and uh, I'm going to go get some lunch. Which sounds really nice right now, because we've we've done a lot of building today. We've got a lot of cool stuff. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Thank you for all the support today. I really do appreciate it. We won't dive into the negatives too much longer. Um, I've said my part. All that cool stuff still stands. Yeah, <laughs> we're not changing our rules to allow people to be bad people in here. Um, thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for everybody who's being positive. Uh, go go continue that positivity into the rest of your day, your weekend, all that cool stuff. Happy Friday, y'all. I really appreciate it. Where did you spawn? I Where I just logged out is actually spawn. Uh, so that last point you saw, that was literally world spawn. Maybe 10 blocks behind us. Um, yeah, thank y'all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and we'll end this on a Minecraft bop. I just let it queue in. And wait for it. Wait for it. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.